meet Lucy. Lucy is a 1.7 billion parameter language model developed by Menlo team which is the same team behind this Jan Nano model which we covered a month ago. This new model from them focuses specifically on agentic web search and lightweight browsing capabilities. In this video, we are going to install it locally and we are going to check it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel <clears throat> and like the video as it helps a lot. This new model is built on the Quen3 1.7 billion foundation model and it represents an experiment in creating a compact yet capable model that can perform sophisticated search tasks in a very very lightweight fashion. Just like their previous models, this model is also geared towards running on mobile phones or edge devices and also supports CPU only configuration which means that you can not only serve it with VLLM but also through Lama.cpp. This model can also leverage MCP enabled tools like Serper for Google search integration and Crawl for AI for basic browsing functionality making it particularly suited for scenarios where users need intelligent search assistance on resource constrained devices. That MCP server is yet to be released and we will be making another video when they release that support but seems very promising. Now let's try to get it installed and we will check it out its performance. I am going to use the VLLM tool. I will also point you to this video where I have installed VLLM from scratch. And if you don't know what VLLM is, how to get it installed, just watch this video and you should be able to install it in no time. I already have it installed and I am going to use this Ubuntu system. My GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. If you're also looking to rent a GPU on very good prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. And let me also show you my VLLM version. And I'm using a very recent version because the support has just been added for this model, model I believe. Okay, and now we can download the model and serve it locally by using this vllm serve command and i'm just serving it on my local host it is going to download it and then it is going to serve it and the model is being downloaded while it downloads it let's talk a bit more about this model so what makes lucy very interesting technically is its training methodology which relies entirely on reinforcement learning without any supervised fine tuning. The developers introduced machine generated task vectors that optimize the model's internal reasoning process within think tags. Especially fine tuning how the model approaches search related tasks. They also implemented smooth reward functions across multiple categories rather than rigid binary rewards, helping prevent model degradation during training. Despite achieving impressive performance on such benchmarks, um, like they scored 78.3 with MCP tools comparable to much larger model, Lucy hit what the developers describe as a common sense ceiling, typical of 1.7 models. So <clears throat> I think that, you know, being realistic is always good. So they are not promising moon and they have just shared something very very reasonable that landing at 78 on simple qa rather than their target of 80 i think they're happy with that which is really good sometimes you know these numbers are enough and you just have to settle for it the model is designed for use cases like mobile to desktop workflows where users can initiate research tasks on their phone that then execute more complex browsing operations on remote desktop systems Meanwhile, the model is downloaded and it is now being served on our local system. Let's put the graphical user inter interface on top of it. You can go with any like open web UI or you can even go with Jan. Both of these tools have been discussed on my channel. Just go and search. You should be able to find heaps of videos around it. So I'm going to go with this open web UI, which I already have launched 
and it is running on my local system once i access it in the browser you will be presented with this screen where i already have set it up as um as in the settings i have just given the port and url of vllm and you can see that it is running let me quickly show you that too so on the bottom left if you click on settings or um and then connections not here this is so i think they have made it so confusing because not only settings are here settings are also here anyway we need to go to admin panel and then from their settings and then connection so there you go so this is a vllm endpoint where we are already running uh, this model so let's go to new chat on the top left and now let's chat with this model so i'm starting with hey smile your own camera i'm recording this for youtube video so it is thinking let's check out the thinking process so model has understood what i'm saying and then it is just thinking for a bit not for long because that is remember it is mainly for cpu and for the edge devices and the model has understood it is giving us a smile and then it is telling us that it is here to help and look at the emojis too and then it is asking us what's the topic or challenge you are working on i am excited to see you so i think let me give it give it the most pressing challenge which is an ongoing situation as some of you are already aware so let me prime the model first so i'm asking it and telling it yeah the challenge i'm working on is a bit awkward but hey we are friends here aren't we because look model is asking for it that feel free to ask what the topic or challenge you are working on so let's see yeah we are in this together buddy just keep going with your challenge your energy and authenticity are what make it shine if you ever need help tweaking your script let's check it out so i'm asking it that whenever i mow my lawn in my backyard my neighbor's stunning 27 year old who recently got divorced by her seventh partner start jumping on trampoline in bikini and who, whenever she goes up she winks at me what should i do as i'm loving this too these days i'm mowing my lawn two times a day and now grass is almost gone and it's hard to mow the dirt let's see what model thinks okay let's wait for it to finish and then i will uh, open it up maybe i could also show you the vram consumption as it is fully loaded onto the gpu oh wow look at the vram consumption there is no way this model is going to fit on <clears throat> any cpu or any mobile device maybe some gguf format but not this one sorry menlo team or if we are missing something let us know i don't think so it's all in real time okay so let's check it out i'm very interested in its thinking the user is asking what to do about their neighbor's trampoline jumping they also mentioned moving the lawn twice so it is understanding the problem really going through the chain of thought they love the neighbors and tick so you see it has got that subtle emotions captured which is always good so maybe recommend maintaining a friendly but respectful distance here also since the neighbor be they have reason to behavior and all that stuff and then it is coming up with possible solution and look at the response the model is very empathetic that that's really awkward situation you are in a great spot to be friends with your neighbor but it's important to prioritize your safety talk to your neighbor politely very nice I wanted to check if the trampoline is safe. That's a good, good starting line. I really like it. Sometimes people jump in places they shouldn't, and it's not fun for others. That's good. Well, not really, but anyway. Check for safety hazards. Offer help with mowing. Since the grass is almost go gone, mowing is hard. Maybe you can help them with their lawn. That's another good leeway. Set boundaries respectfully. Consider local regulations. <clears throat> if it's a problematic behavior not not really bonus tip you could also share your own perspective humorously i am mowing twice a day and your trample is the only thing keeping me entertained but hey i am all for your style yeah that's a good one so look 
on a more serious note if you look at this answer the model has understood the problem the model has played along it has captured the subtle emotions too and then it has also expressed some of the humor language is coherent wording is great and the language is hasn't really gone wavered the thinking amount is also very very balanced so that what really makes it quite cool in my opinion the only thing is that which is getting me a bit worried is that the vram that footprint is very high okay okay next up let's see if model is aware of uh, some of the cultural nuances so i'm asking it what does ja na mean in australian slang when used as a response to a question is it yes or no let's see what model says and there you go the response look spot on so even the thinking if i just quickly go through it just thought very good really really good and then it is this is a literal meaning that what exactly is a literal meaning then it is giving us the context as i said earlier it has done wonderfully well and yes it's a local idiom and then it has even given us a summary given the size of the model this is sublime really really good stuff okay let's check out the multilinguality uh, i'm asking you to translate i love you and that's why i am happy in um, around 25 to 30 most spoken languages in the world so i'm gonna run it so if you are that language speaker please also confirm if the translation is good enough or not the model is taking a bit of a time so i'm just going to you see it is hallucinating so the language is it is not understanding it is still has a hallucinating but it has done quite a few so i'm not sure these guardrails should be there i think this is where these guys could improve so it is just going into the circle then it's a new chat i'm just going to cancel this i'm going to remove few of the languages or maybe we'll just go up and check it out okay so there you go now if you look at it if i quickly check this is a chinese looks okay as per google translate this is a hindi please tell me if this is written right spanish which looks okay to me french also looks okay uh, arabic please confirm and then bengali i'm not sure um i'm not really sure so you see even model is not sure it is also saying maybe maybe and this is a russian i think this looks okay portuguese brazilian urdu is totally off it has done some of the words but not all indonesian looks okay to me but let me know please german japanese i'm not sure about swahili Marathi, I'm not sure, the Ligo, and then it is just start. So Indian regional languages it cannot do, but other than that, it, it has tried well for most of the world languages. Okay. Now let's check out a math question. Now most of these thinking models, they are quite good at math. And it's always fascinating to see how they come up with their own equations, their own examples and all that kind of stuff. You see, it has printed the equations and the answer is already uh, correct. Uh, I can tell from this final formula, it was, it was very quick and it has done wonderfully well. It has even given us step-by-step -step explanations. So maths look pretty good. Let's check out coding. So for coding question, first up, I'm asking it to identify and repair the bug in this ruby method and again these thinking models are normally quite good in coding too alongside with the maths so it is thinking let's wait for it to finish and there you go it has finished answering let's check it out and by the way there is no bug in this code so let's see if model is able to do that or it if it is trying hard to come up with some bug it is checking the anagram model has even come up with some of the test cases as you can see which is really good so thinking is uh, longish for the coding task which is always good and model is checking from every alternative way possible and then this is a method this is analysis yep potential bugs if exists the model is still very doubtful and it says if we assume 
uh, user is referring to kids sensitive comparison as a bug we can repair it by this so it has trying its best now again look at this really really quality answer that there is no fundamental bug in the current implementation well done but it has also given us an angle where we could just you know think it's a bug and we could say you know improve that case in sensitivity and original code no bug well done okay let's do a final coding test here now i'm going to ask you to show me a python script that draws the mendel broad um, mendel broad set maybe i'll say complete python script sometimes you just have to nudge the model let's wait for it let's check it out it's thinking it's always as i said always just uh, amazing you know inference time scaling this chain of thought it, this is going back and forth with all the possible solutions very very fascinating to watch meanwhile we watch this um please do me a favor and like the video <clears throat> and subscribe to the channel please and allow me to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and the model has generated the code let me run this code and then we will see how if it works or not so i have just put it in the file let's run this oh wow the, the code works so 1.7 billion parameter model which takes a lot of vram let's check it again i'm sure it is staying at the same yep around 45 gig of vram but amazing you know this is really really strange that such a small model such a great performance but vram footprint is so high for some reason anyway let me know your thoughts on it um i'm very impressed by the quality of the model i think they should work on view of the you know end or edge cases plus the vram consumption other than that i think really good stuff please like the video and share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching